What up YouTube? In this video, I'm going to be doing a review on the best PA system that you can buy for the best price, the whole package. So let me show you why this PA system is so cool. First of all, you got speaker right here, speaker right there. So for transportation, you cannot beat it. And it's all sealed up in a nice hard case. As you can see, this thing is beat to hell because I've used it a lot and I just love the damn thing. Bang it around a little bit. And it's fine. I'm a professional motorcycle stunt rider myself. So we'll do like stunt shows and stuff like that. And our announcer will be able to announce to the crowd and then also have uh, music during the shows. So to take off the speakers, there's a little um, button underneath there and they, you know, lock very securely. It's, you know, very professional system, like professional grade, I guess you would say. And then one of the speakers comes off. And as you can see, it's got this rubber seal all the way around it. So that seals up to right there to keep any kind of water or just, you know, keep everything that uh, is important that you don't want to get beat up all clean and all dry. So we'll take off the other side. And it's very quick to set up. That's, that's another reason I like it. I mean, you cannot beat it for the size. And this thing really packs a punch. Whether, you know, you need a PA system or to play music during a event or even for tailgating. I mean, your, your tailgate will be bumping, I'm telling if you. If you want to buy one of these and you're in the market for one, um, I do have linked up in the description below, in the description below, a couple different models of this PA system. Depending on um, what exact model you want, because they make about three different kinds of, um, of this PA system. And basically, you know, you got your smaller version and then you have your, your mid mid range, which this is the, the mid size system. And then you got, you know, the big daddy, which for me personally is just a little bit too big to be lugging around. And this system right here does everything that I need. It's super loud. It's still a good size. It's not super heavy or anything. And that is what I would recommend going with. I've also had the PD-150, I believe, and it's not a bad system at all either. But for the extra couple hundred bucks, it's totally worth it to get this model, which is, you know, the middle, the middle range. And I think the best all around. And as you can probably not see, um, because it's pretty dark. Yeah, if I tilt it up, you can see it's got, you know, speaker up here. It's got two tweeters and then kind of a, a woofer. I am not a audio expert, so all I know is it sounds freaking good. And it thumps and it's clear and it does everything that I need it to do. And as you can see right here, you got all your gauges. And don't get intimidated, like if you don't know a whole lot about audio or anything. Um, a lot of these buttons and, and knobs you won't necessarily really use. Like right here, we got our right, left speaker volume. And then we got our different inputs down here. And let me show you another awesome part about this thing. So if we turn it around in the back, it has this little compartment, which is just so smart and I don't have all of the stuff that I would normally keep in here in here right now but this right here is a must the cable to basically connect my phone or you could hook up a if you're really old school a CD player record player hell I don't know a DVD player with whatever you want to hook up and you know just got your audio in and then for like your professional grade, you know, mics or whatever, they're going to connect with uh, with like one of these style connectors. Or you can use, you know, one of these 
big ones as well. And you can also use that to hook up your phone. Um, it's got lots of different options. So anyway, back to this little compartment. And it's not really little by any means. I don't have the cables, you know, super um, tidy, I guess you could say right now, because I actually use this in my home office where I edit um, video. I also edit video as well. And just because I don't have a nice, uh, you know, speaker system, and sometimes I like to to turn it up or, or whatever, you know, you can have the house party bumping with this thing. So anyway, this is one of the speaker cables and the other one I kind of got ran um, in my office and I didn't want to take it all the way, you know, out to show you guys, but you get the point. And then where they were really smart is there's tons of room in there. So you can even put your microphone in there, extra cables that you might need to hook stuff up. You know, whatever you're going to need to to hook this thing up at the event is going to be all in there. And then some of these systems also come with uh, Fender um, makes, you know, speaker stands. Should have showed you that before. And these speakers are really like heavy duty, too. So, you know how stuff is at events. It gets beat up, tossed around. This is, you know, professional, professional grade. So you just slide it right there on the top and right down in the stand. And you can even use any kind of speaker stands. They're pretty um, generic. So as you can see, if we're gonna hook this up at an event, um, would have the speaker stands in a separate bag. That's the only thing I'd need in a separate bag. I'd uh, fold out the, the speaker stands and set these speakers on top of there. Then run the, the mic, uh, or not mic, the speaker, um, wires to the speakers which they just plug in right there on the front and then it's going to plug in to we got our speaker out main speaker out main plugs in right there the other one plugs in right there I'd obviously move, you know, the speakers a little bit further away from uh, the unit. Then I could just hook up this and then hook this up to my phone or whatever. Plug in my, my mic. And as you can see right here, this is stereo. So the only thing... The, the only knobs you're going to have to worry about if you just want to like play music out of your phone, for example, or something, is just stereo one. And you can have that, like, you don't really have to mess with these adjustments much. I mean, you can, but pretty much it'll sound good if you just put all these about, you know, like right in the middle. And then you just adjust the volume for the right and the left speaker. And obviously probably want them on, you know, like the same volume. So put them on like five. It's got a switch right here for stereo or dual. Um, just gives you a little bit different sound depending on, you know, what, uh, what exactly you're doing with this thing. And then each one of these different uh, levels right here, they, they kind of go across and that's why they're, they're color coded. They're all color coded with these down here. So let's say I'm gonna hook up a mic, that's blue. Mic one's blue. So then I got the adjustment for my mic. And I can turn my, like, let's say I want the mic to be louder than the music. If, like I'm doing a show and I'm going to, you know, play music in the background the whole time. But then when my uh, announcer comes on, I, I want the mic to be loud, obviously, so people can hear him. So, you know, maybe turn that up to, let's say, like six or seven, depending on how big the show is. And then let's say I'll turn down the music to like three or four. You know, you get the point and you can kind of tweak it um, however you like, but it's super easy. Don't get intimidated by, you know, all, all these knobs and stuff. And then you also have for your whole system, your uh, master reverb, which you can pretty much leave that in the middle or, you know, whatever your preference is. And then the system equalizer and you can leave that one in the middle. I mean, a good frame of reference for this system is just K2 
kind of leave everything in the middle. And then also this is the volume, so that not necessarily, but this stuff you can leave all in the middle and it'll sound great. If you want to adjust it a little bit for, for your preferences or what exactly you're doing with it, it has all that options. But you don't have to be an audio expert to be able to figure out how this thing works. Another thing that's really cool about it is you can see we got our, our power cord right there. And this will actually, you can flip that switch right there and it'll work. I've never used it on 230 volts, but uh, sorry, get my camera to focus here. You can flip that red switch up and you can flip it to 230 volts. And I think that's what that plugs for on the back. I've never used it with 230 volts. And then if you look down there in that little compartment, you'll see, probably can't see, but where those holes are, there's a fan that keeps it nice and cool. And I've never overheated this thing or, or ever had any issues with this thing. It's, it's just an awesome, awesome system. And I would honestly recommend it to anybody. Like I said, it's linked up in the description below. And it is going to be the one on Amazon. By far, the cheapest place to get it is off of Amazon. And that's linked up in the description below. But it's going to be the one that they call the event system. They also have, uh, and it's like the, the middle price system. And it's like 700 bucks for everything. You get the speaker stands, all the wires, all the cables that you need. And pretty much everything um, you need. It does not come with a microphone, but you know, most PA systems, unless they're a cheap piece of crap, aren't gonna come with a microphone anyway, because depending on what application you're using it for, people are gonna use a variety uh, of different uh, mics with this system. So it just kind of defeats the purpose, but you can pick up a, you know, a, a nice good mic for not very much anyway. And you can hook up a wireless one as well, or one that uh, that uses a cord, because you can use this thing for a ton of different different applications. So, what the heck else did I want to show you guys? Like I said, these speakers they're professional grade. They're not going to get beat up, and you know, stop working or, or or whatever. So when you know shows over and you gotta pack it all up. It's just as easy to, to pack up as it is to set up, which is really, really easy. And I cannot stress how much I love that it fits all into one deal that I can carry by myself and it's not strung out all over my vehicle or in my trailer. Um, so it just makes it really, really easy for this thing to be portable. And it works. I've, I've used it several times at like parties and tailgates and stuff. And, and it works so good for that. I mean, people think you're a freaking professional DJ, your damn tailgate. Because this thing literally, it thumps, man. And it sounds great. It's not like, you know, some POS system where you're listening to it far away. And like, yeah, it might sound all right if you're up close, but I mean, it's nice and, and clear and it gives you nice, clear, but yet good audio. So this thing is awesome and it'll go, I, I've never even had to turn it close to all the way up. And that was the thing that I didn't like about the little bit cheaper one that they make. That's like 500 bucks and this one's like $200 more expensive. And it has more, um, you know, line in options, more adjustments. And, and the main thing is it has more power. The other one, just the speakers are smaller. The whole thing is smaller and it's just not quite big enough. I mean, it works all right for like a small tailgate or something. But really, this system right here is really what you want. And the most expensive one, the problem that I have with that is it's just a little bit too big. Like for me to carry it by myself it is just kind of hard. It, it, and then it, it doesn't fit into uh, your vehicle as easy. It's just not as portable. I mean, if you need something for, for a way bigger event where you got, you know, thousands of people or a thousand people or something, yeah, then maybe you do want to get that system. But you're on kind of a different level, you know, than me. And most people, you know, most people do an event, you got a couple hundred people, 500 people, and that's a pretty, pretty dang good sized event. 
and, and this is going to be perfect for something like that. So, anyway, you don't got to do anything else other than, if you can see on the bottom of these speakers, they kind of have little notches, a notch right there, notch right there. You just slide it down in there, pull up on that little knob, so we slid it in, and then you just kind of push it forward, and then on that little knob right there, you just grab that, push it back, bang, oh, we're good to go. And uh, it shows you how easy it is if, if I can literally do this while holding my camera at the same time. And it would help You're trying to record yourself and then you always mess it up. And I don't think that I got it pushed down into the stand good. There we go. Kind of got to slide it down on that one. Bang ready to go can tote this out of the event tote it into the event bang it around a little bit and it's fine and that's why i love it so as you can also see on the bottom it's got a really you know professional um case as well it's got you know like this uh heavy you know, like heavy duty rubber stuff and it's not going to slide around. Um, if you do bang it up, it's fine. You know, professional grade. I feel like I'm shooting a damn truck commercial. Belt Ford tough, fender tough. But no, it really is a great, a great system and I love it and I can't say enough good things about it. And that's kind of why I'm doing this video about it. I hope that this video helped you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And if this video helped you, please let me know in the comments section. If it did not help you, please let me know in the comments section. I always love your guys' feedback, positive or negative. And like I said, this system is linked up in the description below. And this system right here is just a little bit older. I've had it for quite a while, as I'm sure you can tell from all the the scrapes and scars on it and it still works great the the brand new model which is the same system all the same specs just has a little bit different look to it um you know how they just update stuff but basically keep it the same and they just change the look of it a little bit but all the internals are the same it's basically the same freaking system they just updated the look of it a little bit. So, if you click in the description below, you can get yourself your very own Fender PA system. And this is the PA250, the Passport PA250. They also make that cheaper one that is the PA150 or Passport PA150. And then the more expensive one that's called the Venue model that's that's really big um runs about a thousand bucks great system a little bit too big for me i like the portability of this one this one is the event system and then the other one is i don't even know what the pa 150 is called but great system at a great price can't say enough good things about it thanks for watching guys peace